Surprise! I'm here! I love you! Thank you for watching, my friends. If you are a regular who watches every day, I had mentioned on Friday from Vegas that I probably wasn't going to be able to make a daily update video today, but I'm here! My life stuff ended early. And I am happy to fill you in on everything. But first, I gotta tell you guys about my weekend. As I mentioned on Friday, I stayed at the Palms on Friday night. I went to go see Robbie Williams at the Wynn. Blew my mind. The show was even better than I could have imagined. I love Robbie Williams. I've loved Robbie Williams for 21 years. I was lucky enough to see him perform in New York City when I was a college student, I think he was 99 or 2000, during his only very brief tour of North America, I discovered him when I was studying abroad in the fall of 98 in Madrid, and I've followed him ever since then, buying his music. I remember back in the day when you had to go to the record store, and I was in New York, so I had to go to Tower Records on Broadway and Fourth. I had to go downstairs to the imports section, and he's also just such a phenomenal performer, not just a great singer and songwriter. His voice still sounds so good. The theater is so small. I felt like I was pinching myself the whole time. How lucky was I to see him there? And I got to meet Robbie afterwards. I don't get starstruck often, but I was around him, even though I tried to play it real cool. And he even name checked me during the show in typical cheeky Robbie fashion. He mentioned Mario and looked right at me. He kept looking at me throughout the show and I was like, ah, I was so happy. I'm going to have to see that show again. And actually... Kylie Minogue's cousin is a friend of mine. I texted Kylie's cousin afterwards and I said, please send a message to Kylie. She has to do a Vegas residency and I've got the perfect theater for her. So if the Vegas residency with Kylie happens, you've got your boy Perez to thank for it. And then on Saturday night, I went to go see Cher, the goddess of pop music. And I've seen Cher a bunch. This may be my favorite show of hers I've ever done, mainly because there was a lot of new elements to the show. New songs, new production, a full-on ABBA segment with three ABBA songs. If you haven't heard Cher's ABBA album, it's so freaking good. She did it with the team that did Believe way back in the 90s. I love it. And I got to meet Cher afterwards, still waiting on that photo. A diva needs to be retouched. <laughs> and speaking of Las Vegas, you guys, oh, always drives me crazy when the phone rings. It drives, I, I kind of want to get my phone disconnected, like, but, but not really. <sighs> Who called? It's like, it's annoying uh, telemarketers. Anyways, um, since you are one of my tried and true, most loyal friends, I want you to know I am going to be doing a live podcast recording in Las Vegas. Mark your calendars. The exact details are to come, but it will be Saturday, April 27th. Is that Saturday? Let me, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Saturday, April. April 27th. Yep. Uh, uh, like the Los Angeles date, I plan to do it in the afternoon, late afternoon. So you can still go hit up the pool, wake up early, come see us, and then go see a, another show in the evening or go out to dinner or do whatever you want. So mark your calendars. And if you're a local, you have no excuse not to see Booker and I. Saturday, April 27th, Las Vegas. Details are to come. And if you are in Los Angeles on Saturday, April the 6th, go to PerezTour.com for information and to get tickets to our LA date at the world famous Comedy Store, Saturday, April 6th, Saturday, April 27th. Set your calendars for Vegas. Okay. Um, there's no way to transition other than some big news over the weekend. 
Paris Jackson, according to multiple reports, attempted suicide. She denied that afterwards. However, just because Paris Jackson denies attempting suicide doesn't mean it's not true. TMZ broke the story, and I think they're very credible. And later, people said that police, a representative, confirmed to people that the authorities showed up at Paris Jackson's house responding to a suicide attempt. They did not name Paris Jackson, but they said authorities responded to this address for a suicide attempt. She doesn't owe the public confirmation. She doesn't even owe the public the truth. Lying over a suicide attempt, I don't judge her for that. Uh, I send this girl nothing but positive vibes. Having said that, I can send her positive vibes while also saying I think her dad was a pedophile. That's my opinion. And I'm not sorry if that's hurtful to her because I believe the four to six to seven, the, the exact number of men that have accused Michael Jackson of abuse ranges from four to, to seven. On the conservative side, let's say four. I believe those four men, I do. And I, I think this girl knows her dad was up to no good. I mean, let's be honest. Even the men that have defended Michael Jackson, like Aaron Carter, like Corey Feldman, like Macaulay Culkin, those three have all confirmed that they slept in the same bed as Michael Jackson. That is not normal. That is not okay. Even if the parents were messed up enough to let this happen, Michael Jackson should not have done that. It's as simple as that, people. And it boggles my mind so many Michael Jackson fans defending him so hardcorely. Uh, you know, I don't want to linger on this too much because... What else is there to say? It really sucks that all of Michael Jackson's children continue to deal with repercussions of living in the shadow of Michael Jackson and all of the darkness that that comes with. But, you know, they have a lot of money and better to be dealing with stuff when you have a lot of money than not, as I've said when talking about Justin Bieber. You know, these kids have access to the best help if they want help, if they need help. They also have the ability to not work, which poor people dealing with an abusive dad, a drug addict dad, this, that, or the other, they don't have that a lot of the time. In lighter news, and maybe why some of you may be here, let's talk Shane Dawson. This Shane Dawson drama over a damn cat is wonderful for him. I'm old school. I think any press is good press. And Shane, even though he said on Twitter that this is painful, having to deal with the ripples of the earthquakes or things that he said in the past... I don't think it's hurtful. I think he should be thankful. He should be blessed and viewing it as blessed that people care so much about him in 2019 that they are digging through old podcasts and old videos and finding clips of offensive or hurtful things that he said in the past. Hello, been there, done that. And frankly, I wish people were digging through my old videos or podcasts or whatever. Um... I gotta step my game up. How can I generate some attention? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really think that way. Uh, I just talk. And sometimes by my, my words that are unfiltered, that in and of itself upsets people. But I'm not premeditated like that. 
Do I think Shane is being honest in his apology, saying that he joked about, um, how can I say this in a PG-13 way? Um, let's just say being intimate with a cat. Yeah, I don't think he really did that. Having said that, if you haven't seen it, there is a video of Shane Dawson making out with a dog, literally tonguing a dog. And yes, I know he most likely did that just for shock value. But then that also does make me question a little bit if he may have really done what he did with a cat. I can't say with certainty he 100% didn't do that to the cat. Because I don't know about you, but I love my dog. I'm not going to make out with him. I'm not going to tongue my dog or my cat. That video should be very easy for you to find. Let's see if it, if it, if it comes up on a quick Google search. Shane Dawson tonguing dog. Um... Well, that one, that one didn't. Shane Dawson kisses dog. Let's see if it comes up that way. Kisses dog. Oh God, he's done that more than once. Ew. Actually, the one that, let me look at this one. Cause this is an older one. I saw a recent one. Okay, that's gross. That's gross. And Shane Dawson repeatedly over the years would make out with dogs. I love Shane Dawson, but tonguing your dog or your cat, even if it's just for shock value, that's not normal. Is that... Normal? Is that okay? A dog can't consent. <laughs> I'm not laughing. A dog cannot consent for you tonguing them. Ay, ay, ay. Let's move on. In other news, lighter news, y'all remember Jordan Woods? Well, Kylie Jenner's former housemate is trying to get a new career going as a DJ. Sources tell me this exclusively. She has pitched herself to brands to hire her as a DJ at Coachella to play one of the myriad of parties. But guess what? I'm told nobody wants to touch her. Not a single brand has taken Jordan Woods up on her offer because the card Jenners are worth way more. If Kendall or Kylie or Courtney or Chloe or Kim show up at one of these parties, the brands will get more for their buck than having Jordan Woods spin at their party. Now, if I'm not a big brand and I can't afford a big party, I would let Jordan Woods spin for free. <laughs> And she'd get pressed and my brand would get pressed. So I'm not saying she won't be doing something at Coachella, but none of the big parties want anything to do with her. Speaking of Khloe Kardashian, she uh, wanted to let everybody know this past weekend that Tristan Thompson is a great dad. Well, isn't that sweet? Also over the weekend, Rob Kardashian celebrated his birthday, but none of the family shared any new photos of him. Rob Kardashian does not want to be seen. Also, a lot of people were upset that Kim Kardashian's five-year-old daughter, North, was wearing a dress that many thought was very mature for her age and also had on makeup for the family church service that Kanye throws. It's Kim Kardashian's daughter. I fully expect her to be wearing makeup and dressing more maturely. I don't know what you are thinking or expecting. 
Also, over the weekend, oof, poor Honey Boo Boo. You know her, the reality TV star? Well, her mom, Mama June, was arrested for domestic violence and possession of crack cocaine. Then, after the domestic violence arrest, her boyfriend was ordered to stay away from her. The boyfriend violated that order and was seen with Mama June hitting up a casino. The easy joke is, now we know how Mama June lost all that weight. The crack diet. The seriousness of it all is that poor child... I don't even know if she's that much better off with her dad. Hi, ay ay. Definitely Child Protective Services needs to intervene and make sure that she is looked after and has a stable home environment. <sighs> On to lighter news, uh, but still a juicy scandal. An update on all that college cheating drama. Felicity Huffman has gotten rid of all of her social media. She couldn't handle the heat. Lori Loughlin got rid of it like the same day. <laughs> Speaking of Lori Loughlin, we found out that her husband, Massimo, is reportedly a big Donald Trump supporter who previously had um, spoken out about entitlement. Ain't that rich? Hypocrite. Also, their daughter, Olivia Jade, just reported this today. She isn't just complicit. She is guilty, too. As I've said repeatedly, she even had somebody fill out her USC application for her. Whatevs. I do hope... And I think that all this drama will be good for this girl's career. She and her parents messed up, but she's only 19 or 20, maybe. I don't think she should be paying a big price for her whole life for something her parents spearheaded. And that's that. I love you. Thank you for watching and supporting. It means the world to me. Maybe in five years, if I grow my YouTube and Facebook enough, People will be digging up for all of the stupid stuff I said right now. <laughs> I love you. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share, like button, vomit. Blah, 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 blah. Ah.